it's Rachel and my special guest Nikki. Hi. Welcome back and if you're new here, welcome. Today Nikki is going to be my model Ooh. <laughs> as we demonstrate <laughs> how to do a cut crease on hooded deep set eyes because as you can see from looking at Nikki, she has really no visible lips lid space and turn to the side. Her eyes are really set far back. So she's a really good model for this and we're going to be doing a full cut crease, not a half cut crease, the full thing. Hopefully this helps some of you out. <laughs> Let's get started. We've already primed and set her eyes with the undercover powder. Today we are working with the Lorac Unzipped Palette because Nikki is going out to dinner and she wants to look classy, not colorful. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going in with a fluffy tapered brush and a mid-tone color. I'm gonna pick Unspoken. We're just gonna put that in her transition area. And as I've said before in my previous video with Nikki, you wanna go slightly above but in the crease. Kind of fake it like you have a higher crease than you do. But with a cut crease, you want to wing it out past your eye and extend that crease color out past your eye. Just flick it out. And then what we're going to do is take a smaller detailed crease brush and take a deeper color. I'm gonna take Unbridled right here, and you're going to trace around eyeball, basically. Anywhere that you can feel that her eyeball is, just trace around the outer edge of it. Follow that flick all the way out, kinda like your Cleopatra or something. And then take your fluffy brush and blend the two together, diffuse that harsh line that you just created, and marry them together. <laughs> so then I like to use a cut crease brush from Sigma, but you can use an angled brush like this. You don't have to use this particular angled brush. And I like to use a creamy concealer. I find it easier to work with than a liquid concealer. And I just load up one side of the brush. I like to do the side where the pointy part will be pointing down towards the inner corner and trace underneath that line that you drew with the darker shadow and flick it all the way out and cover the entire lid. And a lot of people, what they do next is they set the concealer so it doesn't budge. And I don't find I have a problem with this concealer budging. So I just go straight in with shadow. I find putting shadow on top of it sets it just fine. You might have to experiment with your concealer at home and see what works for you. And then we're going in with a shimmery light color. I'm going in with Unreal on a shader brush and just going over top of the concealer, being very careful to stay inside the lines. This is a color inside the lines project, kids. Mm -hmm. If you go outside the lines, you will get an unsatisfactory or whatever mm -hmm. they give kids nowadays. And then since Nikki doesn't have any base or anything on, I'm just gonna clean up with a makeup wipe. So then we're taking Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and a small Sigma Eyeliner EO5 and just loading the brush up. I like to either wipe it off on the side or wipe it off on the lid once I've got it completely coated so it's not too much and just run that along 
lash line. And then just like for my eyes, how I've said in the past, I like to do my wing with my eyes open because I have a slight hood here. I want her eyes open when I do the wing because of her hood. I want to make sure that the wing is visible. So I set that underline and then close. And then I make it a proper wing when her eyes are closed, but I set it when her eyes are open so I know that it'll be visible. And open. Gotta get that inner. And that is how you do a full cut crease on hooded deep set eyes. Everybody in the comments say thank you, Nikki, for being our model. She's so nice. Yay, Nikki. Don't clap for you. <laughs> it sounded like fun. <laughs> Laughing. And that completes uh. this video. Thank you so much for watching and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you have not already and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.